Steve Minecraft Mentor here, and today we're going over the silo from Immersive Engineering, and we're going to place down four treated blocks, leave the center like this for your sheet metal, surround it by some more iron sheet metal like that, and we're just going to go up six blocks from here, so one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then fill this in. The sixth layer is going to be uh, completely filled in, don't leave the center open. Oops, we went a little too far, but there we go. So now that you've got this, we throw in our, uh, or hit it with our hammer in the center block, and that's going to assemble the silo itself. A few different things to know about this. Uh, it does import from the top, it doesn't do it automatically. You need a hopper, or like I'm using here, a uh, dropping conveyor belt, and that will automatically send the items down into the silo. <laughs> And uh, it does display what's in it, which is 1,300 industrial hemp, but it can hold over 41,000 items, which is great massive storage. And uh, they're relatively small. You can toss them next to each other if you like. And uh, to export items, you're just going to use conveyor belts or hoppers. I like the conveyor belts because it's on the same level, but you can dig down and use hoppers also. And to actually make items come out of these, we need to power the bottom with a redstone signal. Obviously, we don't have anything in here, but if we come over here, turn on our redstone signal, it's automatically exporting our industrial hemp. And uh, that's it for this one. If you found it helpful, like, comment, subscribe.